What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Brandon Coin YouTube channel. I hope everybody's having a great day. And today is uh, January 18th, 2025, and we're doing a how to mine Wag Layla. Wag Layla is a proof of work coin, it is a Caspa fork. And without getting too far into it, obviously, this is not financial advice. Do your own research, but I'll show you how to get started in it. So we're going to start over here right here okay so this is uh waglayla.com it's got the uh the tokenomics exchanges mining resources dev donate explore and so on um we're gonna go down to, or go to the resources and you're gonna need the wallet first so i downloaded the desktop wallet and i installed it on my hold on my mini pc right here So I got that mini PC a while back. I tried mining on it. It didn't mine very well, but it's been awesome for installing wallets on um, where I don't want to have them on my main computer. I never suggest people uh, install, you know, full wallets on their main computer. Try to have something else, either a mini PC or even just an old office computer, something that you can keep, you know, separate um but i really like that one because if i needed to go and just unplug it yank it and i could take it with me um at the drop of a hat so anyways um always always protect yourself and protect your wallets now let's get back over here to new scene there we go so uh download and open that wallet i did run into an issue that's a windows 11 uh, pc and it needed to download and it was missing let me open it up here it was missing the you know, runtime DLL 140. All I did is I searched that in Google and downloaded it and ran it. And um, after that, it was it was no issue. So let me see if I can pull it back up here and look at my my history, so I can show you guys what it looks like. Let's go to history. Well, that's not it. DLL. There it is. Okay. So um, I'll put this link down below in the description as well. I'll have a link to their website, a link to um, this, and this is the VC Runtime 140 DLL. Uh, so if you, I downloaded the 64 bit version, and this installs Microsoft Visual C 2015 read to 22 read redistributable. Um, if I can talk right now, that'd be great. Uh, once I installed that, I was able to open the wallet up. No issues. Uh, fully set up the wallet, seed phrase, password, pretty normal stuff. Now, you can do it two different ways. I'm running a light node and not a full node, so you didn't have to go and, um, I guess, download the entire blockchain, maybe? is that what the, I assume that's what the full node is. I didn't want to do that, so I just did the light node. It's connected. You can see I already have 455 Wayla in here. And I have uh, only been mining for a short period of time on a single GPU. So let's get over to, now that you have your wallet set up, you'll need to copy your wallet address. And let's get over to the setup side. Um, so you will need to pick a pool. Currently, there is only four pools, but uh, I've been told that there's more pools going to be coming online. Um, I was having issues with mining four people. Of course, that's the one with the most uh, power on it, both of these mining for people pools. Uh, but I was having it disconnect like every couple minutes. So uh, that wasn't any good. And now I am on poolsformining.com, not the solo pool, just the regular pool. And right here is my stats, but that's my wallet address. And on this one, your wallet address starts with Wag Layla, um, and then, you know, colon your actual address but when you copy it from the what from your wallet it'll show up like that as well um, so now that you've picked a pool you'll need to go down to uh, get connected or connect or wherever it is on whatever pool to find the actual stratum so on this one it is uh, we're using the 
uspoolsformining.com. We'd copy that. The port is 4060. Don't copy this whole thing because that's not going to work. Just copy, you know, what server you want to use and then the port. And then let's go over to HiveOS and I'll show you what that looks like on there. Let's change this over here. I need to grab the other screen. Where are we at here? There we are. So we are using HiveOS. If you've never used HiveOS, uh, all you have to do is pause this video right here, open up a new tab, and type in how to get started on HiveOS. Basically, you make, a, make an account. Um, you'll need to burn a USB drive or a SSD, get that system up and running. And then once you're at that point and it's connected, then you can come back over here. So what we're going to need to do is go into our flight sheets. So you're going to create a new flight sheet. You can create a custom coin or you can just set it as Caspa. I just set it as Caspa and then you click on add wallet and the wallet we're using is the uh, one that I said at WAG Layla. All I did is set it Caspa as the coin. You put your WAG Layla address right here. So that's not it. It would be, you know, WAG Layla, you know, and then your, the actual address, but it needs that WAG Layla part in the beginning. Um, don't worry about save as global or fetch or source. Uh, just put a name in there. I put WAG in. Uh, pool, leave that as configure and minor because it's not going to have uh, the pools you're looking for. And then set it to SRB minor dash multi. Then go to setup minor config. And then right here, this is really important. Uh, select the hash algorithm and select Walla hash. You cannot leave it on Caspa. It will not work correctly. Ask me how I know. It's because that's what I did the first time. Um, as for wallet, you just make sure that it says that percent sign, wallet, percent sign. If it doesn't say that, say if it's blocked out like that, just hover over the eye and click on that and it puts it in there. Basically, that, that tells this to pull that variable from your wallet that you set up earlier. Now, where it says pools server port, you type in or you paste in your us.poolsformining.com, um, you know, colon 4060 as the port. So super simple there. <coughs> you don't really need anything else other than the fact that I was told to use version 2.6.9. There are newer versions than that, and I do not know if those newer versions will work, but I know 2.6.9 does work, and we're up and mining. So I've been mining for a little bit now. We have 596 accepted shares. And on an RTX 3060, I'm getting 556.4 mega hash at 125 watts. Actually, I'm going to pull this bad boy down to 100 watts. And uh, I don't really lose much hash. Apparently, this also likes a little bit of memory as well. So I need to push some, push some memory into here. I was just trying to be very, very careful. I didn't want to crash it, and I wanted to get it up and running because I was having some issues getting it up and running. Now let me open up my wallet or my pool stats. So back over here on poolsformining.com, we can go over here to blocks and see our last block was a while ago. It has not had a block in a while. Statistics for me, or no, dashboard, there we go. Load wallet stats. So, so far we have no pending balance because this pool has not hit any more blocks because this pool does not have a lot of hash power. But paid info, we've been paid out 455. And if I go over to my wallet, which let me go right here. There we go. And we're actually remoted into this with Google Chrome Remote Desktop. That's one of the few remote softwares that I actually enjoy using. Because everybody always asks me, how do you connect to your other the other computers? How do you do that? Google Chrome Remote Desktop. It's free and it works pretty good. If you don't, if you have a card that, or you have a computer that has a dedicated graphics card and you don't have a dummy plug in or a monitor plugged in, sometimes the aspect ratio will be off, but um, that's easily fixable with a really cheap dummy plug, uh, or or you can just plug a monitor in one or the other. But yeah, there it is. So I have my 455 wayla and um you know let's let's look it up wag 
Layla Price. I have no idea what the price of this is. Um, I, I don't plan on selling it anytime soon. I'm just going to mine up some and hold it. And it looks like right now it is 0 0.000067. So, I haven't been mining it long enough to figure out any kind of profitability. I'm just curious what times 455. So, three cents. I've already mined three cents worth of Wag Layla. And what markets is this on? Bitcoinetry. $4,000 volume in the last 24 hours. And um, market cap volume 24 hours. Hmm. I'm, not, I'm not super familiar with Coin Paprika. So live coin watch. Let's go there. All right. Well, it looks like it's on a 18% downtrend over the last seven days. So that's something. Um, yeah. So do your own research, ladies and gentlemen. I have no idea if this is profitable, but I'm going to let that card run on there. Uh, and we'll check back in on this in a week from now and see how it's doing. Um, this is definitely one of those, you know, those plays where I'm, I'm going to really enjoy it or really not. Right? I guess it's only one card. It's not like I'm putting all my power on it. So at the end of the day, even if it doesn't pan out, it's no big deal. There we go. Okay. So, yeah. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, this was not sponsored because everybody seems super worried about asking that constantly. Um, this is not sponsored. This is me just uh, showing a little bit of love to a project that they didn't reach out to me, but a friend of mine um, that has helped them reached out to me. Oh, they're actually, they're coming back up a little bit. They're only down 15% uh, now instead of 18%. Um, but they, uh, he reached out to me and he's like, hey, you know, we got some more stuff coming on here. Um, if you want to maybe talk about it, mine it a little bit, might do something, it might not. That's one of those things in crypto. We, we want to like tell people about stuff. But at the same time, we don't want people to get hurt. So don't invest money that you can't afford to lose and don't put rigs on here that you can't afford for them to, you know, maybe potentially not make a profit. But with that being said, I'm going to jump off here. I hope you all have a good night. I'll see you on the next one. Adios.